Mark continues, and his disciples said to him, you see the multitude throng of you, and you say, who touched me? Luke, when all denied, Peter and they that were with him said, Master. And his disciples said to him, you see the multitude. Okay, so I have to put this first. When all denied, from Luke. When all denied, Peter and Peter and they that were with him whereas Mark says his disciples said to him I don't know why Luke specifically mentions people it might be Peter that actually says this master the multitude throng you and press you maybe everyone else just chimed in after Peter started speaking Peter likes to talk. He was probably the first one to speak. Peter and they that were with him. Or should I say, Peter and his disciples. Peter is a disciple. Well, Peter's an apostle. Peter and his disciples. Could I have all three? Peter and his disciples and they that were with him? No, that's too much. Who was mentioned that followed him earlier? And Jesus arose and went with him, and so did his disciples. So, I could just repeat, Peter and his disciples said. That would make sense because it just mentioned earlier, his disciples went with him. Or if I said Peter and they that were with him, well, that might be the whole crowd. So I'm going to go with Peter and his disciples. Peter and, now for Mark, his disciples said to him, Peter and they were with him, said. So said is from both. Said is both, and then to him is Mark only. You see the multitude thronging you, and you say, who touched me? Luke, Master, the multitude throng you, and press you, and you say. I'm going to put Master first in Luke. I'm just trying to be inclusive. That is probably what they're saying, because he is a rabbi, so they're going to be respectful. Master. Now, I think I'm going to go back to Mark, and instead of just saying, the multitude throng you, I could put from Mark, you see the multitude thronging you. So this is Mark only. You see, and then both the multitude throng you and press you. Or, you see the multitude thronging you. I think since it's not just talking about what the multitude is doing, I could say, you see the multitude thronging. It wouldn't make sense to say, you see the multitude throng you. Well, no, that would work. Thronging, though, seems to be more appropriate. So I'll put from both wrong but the ing is only from mark you master the multitude you so you is both mark and you say who touched me luke and press you and you say who touched me so and press you Oh, uh, I don't know if that would work. Because thronging would have to be equivalent with press. It would be pressing you. You see the multitude thronging you and pressing you. But it's not like that. It's just press. You see the multitude thronging you and press you. I don't know if that would work. 
He used to do the most too throng you and press you. I'm gonna have to go with just throng in order to make it work with press. Throng you. Now Luke only and press you. And you say who touched me? And you say who touched me? Okay, the rest of it is the same. And you say who touched me? Luke continues, and Jesus said, Somebody has touched me, for I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. Then it says, When the woman saw that she was not hidden, she came. Mark, and he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him. So, which should go first? Should it be, and he looked round about to see her that had done this thing? And then this statement, Jesus said, somebody has touched me. Or, to have him first say, somebody has touched me, then, and he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. Should he go looking first, and then say what he experienced, or just say what he felt, then go looking? Maybe because he's saying somebody has touched me, I perceive, he's telling this to his disciples. I mean, there's no need to tell everyone, I perceive that virtue has gone out of me. He's specifically answering Peter and the disciples that just said that to him. You see the crowds that throng you and press you. How can you say who touched me? I think he should say that in response to them because it responses to the disciples and then start looking around or probably in the process, but I'm gonna have his statement come first. After his statement, he starts looking around. So yeah, I'll start with, and Jesus said, this is Luke only. And Jesus said, Somebody has touched me, for I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. 